whole truck scene was stunned when Cummins' bombshell plans dropped. We're still debating what's crazier, seeing them tinker with a next-gen turbo diesel, or the shocking move toward developing a gas-powered mill. One thing's for sure, whichever route they take, using it for the Ram heavy-duty trucks is gonna shake up the game. Details are still limited, with Cummins occasionally sharing small updates to keep enthusiasts intrigued. But they just pulled back the curtain a bit, showing the power figures for their new gas-fed beast. Let's dive into what this fresh petrol powerhouse brings to the Ram heavy-duty truck lineup. First, let's see what does the company plans with the new project. When you hear the name Cummins, you immediately think of bulletproof diesel power plants, high torque, and a fan base that swears by the brand's reliability. And then, all of a sudden, they're stepping into uncharted territory with a gas-powered engine. No one's sitting idle on this one. Cummins is developing a petrol engine aimed at delivering the same kind of performance and durability that made its turbo diesels famous. It's an exciting prospect, but the big question remains, can it really work? Let's not waste time talking about their diesels dominating the market. The goal is to replicate that dependability in a gas engine, although achieving those traits is no easy feat. However, Cummins isn't starting from scratch. Instead, they're leveraging the existing B6.7 platform, which means this new powertrain is about to share the same displacement and core architecture as a 6.7 turbo diesel, and it will be designed to fit under the hood of Ram's heavy-duty trucks. When the first reports surfaced about Cummins testing a gasoline-powered alternative to its legendary oil burners, the idea seemed ambitious, if not outright impossible. Early leaks suggested that this new power plant was aiming for diesel-like performance, with output figures ranging between 220 and 325 horsepower, paired with torque ratings from 600 to 660 pound-feet. Those were first possible setups. The latest updates reveal eight new output configurations built on the B6.7 platform. These are 200 horsepower, 520 pound-feet, with another similar setup that delivers torque at a later curve. 240 horsepower, 560 pound-feet. 250 horsepower, 660 pound-feet. 260 horsepower, 660 pound-feet. 280 horsepower, 660 pound-feet. 300 horsepower, 660 pound-feet. 325 horsepower, 750 pound-feet. This is game-changing territory. Never before have we seen a gasoline engine packing this kind of low-end grunt, especially one designed for heavy-duty applications. The 660 pound-feet torque ceiling across multiple setups is already on par with many diesel competitors, but what really raises eyebrows is the top-tier variant pushing 750 pound-feet. That's an absurd amount of twist for a gas mill and could challenge the dominance of oil burners in certain applications. The fact that Cummins is experimenting with different torque curves also suggests they're tuning this engine for various workloads, from fleet trucks to serious towing machines. The big unknowns are efficiency and longevity. Can a gas-powered workhorse hold up under heavy loads without guzzling fuel at an unacceptable rate? That remains to be seen when the Ram introduces the new setup for their trucks. As exciting as the idea of a gas-powered Cummins is, two major questions remain unanswered, when will it be available, and how much will it cost? The first leaks about this engine surfaced just a few months ago, meaning development is already underway. However, Cummins has been tight-lipped, offering no official announcements or timelines. Given the complexity of this project and the multiple output configurations being tested, the company will likely need more time before this power plant reaches production. At the very least, we wouldn't expect to see it in Ram's heavy-duty lineup before 2026 or 2027. Pricing is another big unknown, but one thing is clear, it has to make financial sense. The new unit is shaping up to be a serious performer, but it still won't match the brute force of the 6.7-liter turbo diesel, which currently cranks out 1,075 pound-feet of torque. That means Ram won't be able to price it too close to its oil-burning counterpart. Development cost is a big factor here, since engineering a gas unit that delivers diesel-like durability isn't cheap, and Cummins and Ram will have to strike a balance between performance, efficiency, and affordability. <laughs>